What's up everybody, Jason Page here and welcome back to another light painting tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this image right here. If you're a subscriber to the channel, welcome back. And if you are new here on this channel, we talk all about light painting photography and using your camera as an instrument for recording light. So if you'd like to learn more about that, you're in the right place. So please do consider subscribing to the channel and maybe hitting the little bell notification down there so you know when we release a new video. The image that I'm gonna create in this video is kind of combining the last two videos together because I'm taking the two elements that I used in those last two videos, I'm taking the kaleidoscope from the first video and I'm gonna use the cotton from the second video and we're gonna create this image that in my mind looks like uh, basically like a time traveler coming through some kind of porthole or stargate or something like that. For the setup on this image, I'm taking the two main elements that I used in the previous videos, the kaleidoscope and the cotton and incorporating those together. Again, the kaleidoscope is simply three pieces of mirror that are taped together using clear packing tape. The reason I'm using the clear packing tape again is so that I can shine light down along the edges of the kaleidoscope and I'll get that line effect. The cotton is on the music stand and the music stand has the holes in the back of it so that I can illuminate the cotton from underneath which creates that really cool cloud-like effect and it's just a great texture of light and I'm absolutely in love with it. I've also taken some cotton and put it just kind of sporadically inside of the kaleidoscope near the cotton end and then on the camera side of it, I've taken just literally handfuls of dirt from outside and just kind of spread it around there on the front part of it. And then I've taken a little figurine that I got from over at the dollar store. And it's actually a firefighter, but to me it looks more like a spaceman. It was red and I just took it and spray painted it black because I think it looks a lot better that way. And then I just placed him in the center of the kaleidoscope between the dirt and the cotton. The camera that I'm using is my Canon 6D Mark II. The lens that I'm using is the Laowa 14 millimeter wide angle macro lens. The tools that I'll be using to create this image are the color hoods from light painting brushes. I'll be using the blue color hood and the orange color hood. As always, they are connected to my flashlights using the universal connector. And the flashlight that I'll be using with the hoods is the Coast G26. The other tool that I'll be using is the black fiber optic and the black fiber optic has color gels put into a white screw on color filter. So I basically modified this uh, white screw on color filter. I've just taken some uh, gels and put them down inside the filter here so that it gives me this bluish purple and pink colors here out the end of the fiber optic. A little bit more on the setup of this image. I've got the camera almost inside of the kaleidoscope and it's just tilted up a little bit. I just like the way the reflections were picked up better when it was kind of tilted up just a hair. Got the dirt in the front on the camera side. I've got my figurine, the little spaceman looking thing in the middle. And then I've got some cotton just sporadically laid out on the back end of the kaleidoscope. Then I've got the cotton on the music stand that's going to be directly behind the kaleidoscope itself. So it's really creating this really neat like just bursting crazy color effect on the back here when I illuminate it from behind. The settings that I'll be using for this image are ISO 100, F8, and shooting on bulb mode just using a little shutter release attached to the camera. The exposure time is probably gonna be right around one minute. There are a few steps to the setup of this one, but once the setup is complete, it's a pretty simple image to create because once the setup is done, you don't have to move anything around. All you gotta do is just, you know, illuminate it in different ways and it gets a ton of cool results. At the end of this video, I'm gonna put a bunch of different images that I shot using this exact same setup with just moving the lights in different ways. And as you'll see at the end of the video, just moving the lights around in different ways or holding the light in one spot a little bit longer or less or moving it quicker is gonna create a dramatically different effect that is really cool. Again, once the setup is done, you can sit here for hours and just illuminate it and get all kinds of different effects. It's really a fun project to do.
to create this image, the first thing that I'm going to do is add a little front light to the actual figurine inside of the kaleidoscope. So I'm actually going to take the black fiber optic and put it inside of the kaleidoscope just on the one side of the lens and so it sits right in front of the figure inside the kaleidoscope. I'm going to start the exposure, turn it on for about a second, turn it off, and take the black fiber optic out. And that's going to be the end of the black fiber optic used in this image. But what it's going to do is create a, just a little bit of front light for the figure inside the kaleidoscope. And it's also going to leave almost like this little sparkly effect because just the tips of the black fiber optic are illuminated. Then I'm going to go to the color hoods and I'm going to start back here behind the cotton. I'm going to use the blue color hood to illuminate the outside edges all the way around the cotton like this. Then I'm going to use the orange and for the orange I'm just going to kind of stay in the center of the cotton. Again, illuminating from the back side because the holes are in this music stand so it illuminates the cotton and it looks super cool. Then I'm going to come around and I'm going to take the orange and I'm going to just shine it all down the edge on the side here. I'm going to shine it down the edge on the top and I'm going to shine it down the edge on the opposite side like so. And what that is going to do is that's going to create that line effect inside the kaleidoscope and it's also going to add a little orange light inside and kind of illuminate the dirt and the cotton and stuff that's actually on the inside of the kaleidoscope. Then I'm going to take the blue and I'm just going to do a little hit of the blue on this on the end here just on the top and this edge here and that should be the end of that exposure. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights now and actually run through an image. I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing it and what tools I'm using while I'm creating it with the lights off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and create an image now. And I'm starting with the black fiber optic with the colored gels to give a little illumination to the figure inside of the kaleidoscope. I have not started the exposure yet. I'm doing this with the fiber optic on I'm using that to find my place here. So I'm taking it and I'm putting it inside the kaleidoscope just on the one side of the lens here. And again, with the light on, I'm figuring exactly where I want this to be. And once I get it set, then I'm gonna turn the light off on the fiber optic and start the exposure. So I've got it set, I'm starting the exposure now. I'm gonna turn the black fiber optic on for about a second. And that is it for the black fiber optic. Now I'm taking the blue color hood that is attached to the G26 flashlight using the universal connector. And I'm just going to illuminate this outside edge like so. And that's going to be it for the blue. Now I'm going to take the orange color hood with the universal connector in the G26 and just kind of do the center here just like that. Now I'm using the orange to illuminate that edge of the kaleidoscope all the way down one side. Going to do the top here. And over to the other side. Then I'm going to take the blue and just kind of hit that one little edge here at the end. And that will be it for this exposure. So you can see we've got the man, the figure illuminated right there in the center. We've got a couple little dots in front of him from the black fiber optic that I feel really add a lot to this image. And then you can see how the, the blue and the orange actually kind of blended together on the cotton in the background to create that really cool texture of light and also the colors, the way they blended together are great. And that's it. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did like the video, please do hit that thumbs up button down below. I think everyone would agree that the world needs more light and positivity, and that is what we're trying to do here is build this community of light painters and bring more light and positivity to the world. So if you do like the video, please do hit the thumbs up button. That is super helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do hit the subscribe button down below. 
thank you guys very much for watching. I greatly appreciate the support from the bottom of my heart. I truly am grateful and thankful for this community that we have and just the good vibes and positivity that uh, light painting brings to me and to the world. So until the next video, get out there and get creative.